will start with the topic scapula before starting with the mcq we will see the structures at different vertebral level first of all c4 at c4 we get the bifurcation of common carotid at c5 no significant structure present but at c6 we get the beginning of esophagus and beginning of trachea with brachial artery enters the foramen transversa at c7 we have vertebra prominent at stereoclavicular joint it should be sterno sternoclavicular joint there is bifurcation of right brachiocephalic trunk union of internal jugular and subclavian vein to brachiocephalic vein on both side at t1 there is no significant structures present but at t2 we have superior angle of scapula since it is related to scapula i will highlight it superior angle of scapula at t2 okay at t2 also at t2 we have suprasternal notch and level of first rib at front and t1 at back see when whenever there is rib present on superior aspect we'll see the rib arranged like this here is the vertebra and here is the sternum but when we see at lateral aspect we get vertebra over here the rib starts and move downwards to the sternum it's downward so when we'll see like um, take the sagittal section and we see the vertebra uh, see the angle of rib it's vertebra and here is the sternum and it moves like this it makes an angle it makes an angle see this is the it makes the angle and that's why this is t1 level and this is t2 level so the rib first rib starts at t1 from the back and is at the level of t2 in front okay now we'll move towards let me erase it first then we'll move towards the t3 t3 the there is medi med medial end of spine of scapula also the end of prevertebral fascia and top of aortic arch okay at t4 we have sternomandibular joint start and end of arch of aorta and bifurcation of trachea and pulmonary trunk at t5 we have thoracic duct which crosses from right to left thoracic duct now moving towards t6 there is no significant structure present at t6 level but at t7 we have inferior angle of scapula so once again i will highlight the point inferior angle of scapula as we are seeing specifically about scapula at t8 we have inferior vena cava and right phrenic nerve enters the diaphragm the left phrenic nerve enters the diaphragm separately separately also at t8 we have hemizygous vein crosses to the left at t9 there is anterior hiatus and superior epigastric artery and vein passes through the diaphragm at t10 level it is a site of epidural esophagus left gastric artery and vagus passes from diaphragm at t10 at t11 we don't have any specific structure but uh, we'll see till uh, at we'll see thoracic vertebra number 12 the aorta hemizygous and ozygous vein and thoracic duct passes behind the diaphragm also the splanchnic nerve pierces the curare and sympathetic trunk passes into abdomen at l1 there is the end of spinal cord also at l1 there is a passage of transpyloric end through 
प्लेन थ्रू इट एंड सुपीरियर मेजेंट्रिक आर्टरी कम्स ऑफ द एवोटा अलॉन्ग विथ दिस बिटवीन द वर्टिब्रा ऑफ वन एंड टू दिस स्पेस देर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑजाइगस वेन देर इज ऑजाइगस वेन फ्रॉम द सब कोस्टल एंड असेंडिंग लंबार वेन एट टू एल टू द लेफ्ट क्रस ऑफ वर्टिब्रा इन सर्ट्स ऑन बॉडी ऑफ एल वन प्लस एल टू एंड स्टार्ट ऑफ स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन मेजेंट्री सी दिस इज दिस इज राइट साइड एंड दिस इज लेफ्ट एंड दिस इज द क्रस ऑफ डाई फ्रेम ओके एंड दीज आर दर्टिब्रा दिस इज एल वन एल टू एल टू एंड दिस इज एल थ्री ओके सो एल वन एल टू एल थ्री द राइट क्रस इज इंसर्टेड ऑन एल वन एल टू एंड एल थ्री बट the left is inserted left is inserted only on l1 and l2 okay right now we'll read it once okay so we have at l2 the left cross of diaphragm is inserted on l1 and l1 plus l2 at the level of l3 the right cross of diaphragm is inserted on the body of l1 plus l2 plus l3 along with that we gets the inferior mesenteric artery from the aorta also l3 is a site of lumbar puncture okay so l3 is a site of lumbar puncture okay now at the junction of l3 and l4 this is l3 and l4 at this region there is a height that is there is a presence of umbilicus okay at the level of l4 there is abdominal aorta bifurcation along with that the iliac crest and sub iliac crest is there like at the l4 you get abdominal aorta bifurcation and iliac crest at l5 we have inferior when inferior vena cava formed from common iliac vein and bifurcation of common iliac artery at also it is at the level of pelvic brim at s1 we don't have any specific significance but at s2 there is the end of dural sac of the spinal cord and at s3 we have start of rectum now let's solve the mcq so the first question is the lower angle of scapula is at which level it was it is a ct november 14 pattern and also ask in ct 2003 okay 2003 so as we have seen c we'll go this is superior angle as we have seen the inferior angle of scapula is at t7 so we'll write mark the answer over here the lower angle of scapula is at t7 okay and the superior angle of sc scapula at is which level the question is ct july 2015 pattern so let's move above and see what is the answer so at t2 we get superior angle of scapula so the superior of angle of scapula light lies at which level it will lie at t2 okay 